Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that I found in the Bayview. And this is from August 2nd, 2015. But this is something that you really need to know. Now, we know Diane Feinstein came forward about a week ago to say she wanted all of this reparation talk to go away. And she wanted everything to go back to the way it used to be. This is what she said. Well, I want you to find out something really important about Dianne Feinstein, and perhaps you will understand why she feels this way. We need to have this understanding, ladies and gentlemen. Without it, it may not all make sense. So we need to start digging and looking and start trying to connect the dots. 1984, Confederate flag of slavery taken down from San Francisco Civic Center three times. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1984, Diane Feinstein was the mayor of San Francisco. Yes, she was. And I want you to see what she did as the mayor at that time. At the time, Feinstein, who was in the run for the Democratic vice presidential nomination, was seeking to curry favor with the Dixiecrats. Mm -hmm. Who would be arriving in town three months later for the Democratic National Convention? She had the flag put back up. Now you might be wondering what flag? The Confederate flag. She put the Confederate flag back up. It was up. And then somebody took it down and put up the Union flag. Well, Diane Feinstein stepped in and she had the Union flag removed and put the Confederate flag back up. That flag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go on. A racist provocation that came one day after the outrageous acquittal of a KKK Nazi death squad who had gunned down five leftists, civil rights activists, and union organizers in Greensboro, North Carolina in 1979. Bradley, now Bradley is the one that took down the Confederate flag originally and put the union flag up. And the SNL, SL responded by going right back and tearing down the new flag to pieces just hours after Feinstein had hoisted it. Bradley, who knew well from his childhood in South Carolina, what that flag stood for was arrested for the second time and would be put on trial for vandalism in the eyes of Feinstein, the racist cops, he was a criminal for tearing down that Confederate flag, y'all. Slavocratsy rag. But in the Bay Area, Richie was a local hero, unable to walk into a bar or restaurant without having a drink or meal brought for him. Telegrams and phone calls poured into Diane Feinstein's mayor's office, including from local union leaders forcing Feinstein to back down and promise that the hated flag would not fly again. Bradley climbed the flagpole a third time this time to put up a replica 
of the historic Union garrison flag that flew over Fort Sumner in Charleston Harbor when Confederate forces fired the opening shots of the Civil War, demonstrating again against her scorn for those who fought to smash slavery, Feinstein vindictively had the Union flag removed and it was shredded. You see that? The actions of Bradley and the SNL garnered support and gratitude far and wide, including from the incomparable writer Gore Vidal, who's in script a copy of his new novel, Lincoln. With the words, Lincoln would also have wanted the flag's symbolic removal. On June 4th, Bradley trial ended with a hung jury, eight for acquittal. One juror told Bradley as he shook his hand, I would have done it if I had the guts. The juror donated $20 to the offense and brought a subscription to Workers Vanguard. A week later, in an attempt to avoid further embarrassment for the city, Administration Feinstein's district attorney moved to dismiss all charges over the strenuous objection of the defense with Bradley insisting on his day in court. But the story didn't end there. Feinstein just would not let it die. At the end of June, on the same flagpole that Bradley had twice scaled, to remove the Confederate battle flag. Listen to what Feinstein did. The mayor raised the stars and bars, the first flag of the Confederacy. That's what Diane Feinstein did, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. So this woman wanted the flag of slavery to fly in San Francisco when she was the mayor. And she battled back and forth with other people that didn't want it up there. And many of those people that didn't want it up there were black organizations that came forward and let her know that they did not like that flag up there. She didn't care. Maybe now, ladies and gentlemen, you may understand why Diane Feinstein has the attitude that she does about reparations. Now that we have this piece of information about her, we can proceed accordingly. Just know that old relic has a very racist past. We must learn about these people and just know that Joe Biden is not alone. And how he feels, he has Senator Dianne Feinstein that shares his vision, ladies and gentlemen. And there's plenty more in Congress and in the Senate that sits there today. See, those old relics are not sitting there for nothing. These are the kind of people that are not interested in moving the country forward. They are interested in keeping things exactly the same, all unbalanced and all unequal until the day they die. Ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think. 
Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.